Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are five ways to soften the edge of a selection. First, when using the marquee or lasso tools, you can assign a feather to the tool. Tap Return on Mac or Enter on Windows to automatically highlight the feather option and enter a value. Then drag out the selection. If I add a layer mask, we can see that the selection has a soft feathered edge. OK, I'll undo that. Just remember, the feather option is sticky, so you'll need to remove it from the tool options before you create the next selection if you don't want the feather applied. Second, we can add a feather after creating a selection. I'll choose Select, Modify, Feather, or use Shift F6, and then enter a value. Again, I'll add a layer mask to view the soft edge, and then we can undo that. Third, I'll make another selection. This time, I'll add a layer mask without adding a feather. To soften the edges, I'll use the non-destructive feather slider in the Properties panel. All right, let's delete that mask and choose Select, Reselect. Fourth, with a selection, I'll choose Select, Select and Mask, under Global Refinements, I'll use the Feather Slider to soften the edge and Shift Edge to either choke or spread the mask. All right, let's cancel that. Finally, I'll make a selection, then use Shift F6 to return to the Feather Selection dialog, increase the value, and leave Apply Effects at Canvas Bounds unchecked. When I add a layer mask, we can see that the selected area inside the canvas is soft, but along the canvas edge is still sharp. Let's undo that, tap Shift F6 again, and this time enable Apply Effects at Canvas Bounds. Now when I add the layer mask, Photoshop has applied the feather along the center as well as along the edge of the canvas. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.